At this time, we're going to learn some songs that uh, are in our language called Oneyo Oino. Oneyo Oino. Uh, translates to mean corn songs or corn dance. And uh, these songs um, also have a, uh, uh, a part where uh, the lead singer will say the beginning of it and the rest of the singers will sing a recall or sing the second part of the song. And uh, we're, so we're going to go over that. Uh, I'm going to start off by singing the, the introduction. And with this dance, there's an uh, introduction to the music and to the dance itself that starts it off and there's really no dancing in the very beginning. It's just this beginning part of the song and goes like this. Hiya, Hajine, Hiya, Hajine, Hiya, Hajine, Hiya, Hajine, Hiya, Hajine, Hiya. the whole part of that non-dancing intro so then once this next part starts off it's just kind of a slow like a slow half beat kind of thing and uh, you're just kind of marching a little bit slow to it in the beginning and and the beat. and this part is very simple and it just goes hey yo yo we nay and the reply to that is we ha okay so we ha Pretty easy. Hayo yo we hey we ha yo 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 ha so with that you were saying we ha on all those parts i hope and uh, again, this is a, a, a way to kind of call us together and give everybody a chance to kind of join in with the singing on that. And you notice how it kind of started off, you know, like like slow, and then it got, you know, a little bit uh, quicker. Um, in these songs, always in the middle, you know, you'll hear that, like that. So when it goes like that, you need to face the middle. And when you face the middle, it's like you're acknowledging that, whatever we're dancing for and singing for. So maybe like we're acknowledging the corn on this part. And uh, again, that's the, just to start off corn dance. So certain social songs and certain social dances have an introduction or a few songs that are customarily used to start it. So with this, these are the beginning songs. So the next one, we're gonna go, I say this, yo ho, we gonna we yo. And the reply for that is, hi we ha. So you say that part, hi we ha. Let's try it. Oh, ho, he, na, we, yo. Na, hi, we, ha, yo. Oh, he, na, we, yo. Hi, we, ha, yo. Oh, he, na, we, yo. Hi, we, ha, yo. Oh, he, na, we, yo. Hi, we, ha, yo. Yo, we, yo. Hi, we, ha, yo. Yo, we, yo. Hi, we, ha, yo. Hi, we ha, yo ho, hega na we yo. 
So again, now we're up to two of those, well, three of those songs to kind of just start it off. So that's just really the whole long intro, I guess, for this. And uh, after that, after you sing that, these ones, then any song that comes to mind, then you can sing it. So it's kind of open so that a singer can... A singer will kind of make their own order for it. Um, you know, it's 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 customary for you to maybe you can do it your own way if you want to. Whichever ones you like the best, you can throw in there or sing sing next. But um, we're gonna start from the beginning again and go over that another time here. So here we go from the very beginning. So you can sing along on this. <clears throat> Hayo Hajine Hayo Hajine Hayo Hajine Hayo Hajine Hayo Hajine Hayo sing whatever song comes comes to mind so I'm gonna sing that yo na ba ha yo na wa hi yo hai ya ha yo na ba ha yo na wa hi yo hai ya ha yo na ba ha yo na wa hi yo hai Oh, oh, oh. 
songs to uh, corn dance and a few extra songs after that uh, that's a short set to kind of start you off with so you can play that or sing to that if it helps you uh, learn how to uh, sing corn dance Daniel. Yeah, we gonna, uh, we're going to take a moment to talk a little bit about this instrument that we use uh, when we're singing Seneca songs uh, in our language it's called Onokge Gastawetse uh, what it translates to mean is a horn rattle now this horn rattle is made out of a piece of cow's horn that's been cut and we cut it before it's cut up usually uh, it's hollowed out so you take a horn and a long time ago, they would bury it in the ground and the uh, insects clean it out a little bit. And you got to keep checking on it. Then you, you dig it up and check on it. And uh, once it's cleaned out, then you could uh, cut it into sections like this. Some people will take them and even boil the horns when they're fresh to uh, clean them out and scrape them out. But uh, whatever method you use, uh, once the horns have been cleaned out, uh, we cut them into pieces, a little about so long, like that. Um, and of course, depending on the size of the horn. Some horn rattles are just little, for little kids, are little tiny ones, you know. Um, all the way to some so small you could use as an earring. So uh, it's up to whoever's making it and, and whatever materials you have uh, to use to make it and what size you're going to make it. But... Um, what happens is we make a wooden top, as you can see here. We've got a wooden bottom on it. We've got a wooden handle that's been carved uh, to fit right through. And this handle goes all the way through the inside of the horn like that. And you can see the handle sticking out on top here. So now what they do to keep that handle in place is they use this, uh, this cotter pin type deal here where they uh, make a wooden pin that goes through and they drill the drill the handle just right and they push that push that wood through to hold it all together so uh, of course sometimes people would use wooden pegs use wood glue and put wooden pegs to to also make it more sturdy so Put some shakers in there and uh, you got a rattle that we use sometimes we use it to lead a dance or to lead a song or we would use it to to accompany a water drum now they say a long time ago we used to be able to trade for or even hunt and we used to be able to have buffalo horns so our people are still around because we're the type of uh, culture that really adapts to uh, materials that are around us and to use things like this, to use things in, a, in our own in our own way. And uh, since buffalo horns got scarce and we couldn't hardly get them anymore, 
uh, it, it turned out in our history that there was a lot of cattle around and we were able to get cow horns. So we made the substitute from, from using digiago, from using buffalo horns to josquam, to using cow horn. And so it's a common, it's a common, we call it the Haudenosaunee instrument or Iroquois instrument that we use it. So like I said, the horn rattle itself a lot of times would be used striking it on your hand, or some people would maybe strike it on their thigh like that. But um, you know that's uh, that's the traditional uh, use of it, and when we're when we're making music. So oh no get, oh no get, gusto horn rattle.